What's going on, everybody? I appreciate you for being here with your boy, the 34-year-old college student, and thank you for being on this journey with me. Guys, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to just stand to the side so you can see what's happening over here, guys. But today, we're going to have the top five things you need to do to pass college. I repeat, here is how you pass college. I have the top five things for you guys. One more time, I'm not gonna do it. We just gonna get to it. Boom, number five, check your god dang emails. Man, if you a student and you in college and you wanna pass, you need to check your god dang emails. It is nothing like going to your emails and the teacher done sent you a message saying that your work need to be turned in today. But that email said today, but you read it three days later. And so now, oh, you know exactly what I'm saying. You can't even turn in the work and you get a big fat zero. So you need to check your emails for work because the teachers do correspond with you through your emails. They're not gonna text you. They're not, they don't want you to wait until the next class period. The dean of the college is not gonna come over here and tell you what you need to do. You are a grown woman and a grown man. You need to check your god dang emails. Let's go here to number four. You need to use Grammarly. Yes, I'm going to say it again. You need to use Grammarly. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for Grammarly, guys, I probably wouldn't even pass. That is how important using Grammarly is in college. So I'm saying it's, it's mostly used for English, but there are other classes. You're going to have a lot of classes that want your punctuations to be right. They want you to put uh, the cap capitalized letters to be correct. You, they don't want you to have run on sentences. They don't want you to have fractured sentences. They want you to be right. They don't want you to turn in no essay and they cannot even read it just because you ain't put no periods, no question marks. You didn't capitalize words that were supposed to be capitalized. You have a run on sentence. You have a sentence that doesn't have a noun in it. You don't have a subject in it. Like, like Grammarly cuts through all of that. It, it, it's easy for you. And the main thing that Grammarly do for you guys, the main thing that Grammarly do for you guys, it detects plagiarism and the thing is you can get kicked out of college if you turn in a paper and you don't have no 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 intent citations and you don't have no no reference page or if it's MLA you don't have a, 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 a work cited page you can get kicked out of college because of plagiarism now let me give you a little fun fact with that even if it detected your paper only is allowed to have up to 30% of, 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 of plagiarism material. You can't go over 31. That's too much. You, you're not just copy and paste and do not copy and paste because you're going to forget the in-text citation is what you're going to do. But you can't just copy and paste. You, can, you cannot just write somebody information and make it like it's yours. You cannot say, well, I put in-text citations and everything. No, but you got 85% of somebody else's work. You didn't do nothing. You, 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 you ain't even think. You didn't even think uh, of your own mindset. and You didn't even think of what you know, your own information. And you should be able to see some information. I'm giving you a golden nugget right now. You should be able to look at some information and be able to reword it in your own words. Let's continue, guys. Number three. This is one that's very, very important. You need to become friends with your classmates. I repeat, become friends with your classmates. Yes, I know. It is 2022. Everybody have a myriad of things that they want to do. You want to go out to the club with, with your friends that you had in middle school. You want to go hang out with friends. You want to kiss your dog in your mouth and all that good stuff. Like, you want to be by yourself because you're an introvert. Like, you don't want to do all that. But my thing is going through college all by yourself not being able to call somebody be like yo um what, what what's up with this prompt i don't 
I don't know what to do. Or having a group text or having a, a, a group message in Facebook or whatever social media platform that you're using. You should be able to have a friend that you have in that same class that or, or, or that's taking the same class. That y'all don't necessarily have to be in the same class, but y'all could be taking the same class and y'all can bounce ideas, information. Y'all can help one another out because two perspectives, two mindsets is so much better than your own. And then another thing, what is the college experience without having a friend? Come on, man. You can't go through college and don't meet somebody. Yeah, that's not the college experience. And I ain't talking about going out to the club and getting those my aunt talking about people that's really trying to pass. Let's continue. If I said that was more important, you got to know number two is exactly where it's at. Get your tail a tutor. See, I'm mostly talking to you young people right now because you already know I am your 30-something-year-old college student. So my mind is very curious, and I do not care to be looking stupid in front of my classmates or put in the extra work and the extra time and go the extra mile to make sure that I pass and, and that I get a good grade. You feel me? Your kids, 18, 19, people who just getting out of high school, use the resources that you have. And tutors is there for you. You see, let me just tell you something. One of my biggest things, one of my biggest problems that I had when, when I was thinking about coming back to college, I was like, man, it's gonna be hard because all the stories that I heard was that you win this by yourself. And, and if you don't get it right by this time, then that's it. It's no makeup work, it's no extra credit. That is what I thought in my mind. But look, let me tell you something when I got here. Let me tell you something. They were right. If they say put in the, 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 the work right here, you don't wait to right here to put it in. And if you put it in right here and they said put it in right here, they are not going to give you a grade. You're going to get a zero. But they give you so many resources to be able to make sure that, oh, Oh, we, we speaking now. To be able to make sure that you do your work properly. See, English 111 is where I'm at right now. And I have tutors. I can go to the tutor every day, right? I can set up a schedule every day to where my tutors would help me out. Then also my teachers, on top of that, you know what I'm about to say, they are willing to help. That's why the emails, which is number five, that's why the emails are there. The teachers will say, reach out to me. Now, they're not probably going to message back you at the 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock or something like that. But the teachers will reach back to you, ask them questions. And if you fail, it's going to be on you because you fail. You didn't reach out to some tutors. You didn't have friends. You didn't use Grammarly. And you didn't check your emails. But the one thing above all that... In my estimation, the one thing above all of that is, boom. Oh, 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 Miss Clifton, Clifton, Miss Clifton, Clifton, over here. Oh, oh, Miss oh, Clifton, Clifton, Miss Clifton, please, Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, oh. Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton. Clifton. Raise your goddamn hand. Gotta raise your hand if you in class, and if you don't know something, and you need some more information. And you sitting there like, I don't get it. You need to raise your cock dang hand and ask the teacher the question that's in that noggin of yours. The students is not knowing. They might be tripping out just as much as you are. But you have a teacher, you have an instructor, you have a professor that's teaching this class in front of you. You have this teacher for at least an hour and 30 minutes, maybe two hours, but you can raise your hand. Don't just be in this class just like you, you waiting for this time to go by. No, use this time wisely. Because if you don't use this time wisely, if you don't raise your hand, if you don't get the answers that you need, you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna be right back in this class next semester and then after that you might be in there again then after that you're probably out of college because they already put you on academic probation and now your parents is going to start funding 
your school tuition because you can't get financial aid because you're on academic probation. Guys, I need y'all to think of this. So let's run through these again, guys. You got number number five. I, I got one right here. Let's, let's put up five. We got number five right here. Oh, yeah. Check out. We got number five. Check your emails. Number four, use Grammarly. Number three, become friends with your classmates. Number two, make sure, and I repeat again, make sure you utilize the tutors at your college. And number one, Miss Clifton, Clifton, Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, Miss Clifton, 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 raise your hand when you in class, guys. That's all what I have for you. I appreciate you so much. I am your 34 or 30 something year old college student. And I appreciate you for being on this journey with me. And I'm out. Mm.